showing you guys my current wash routine when I'm only using one brand. The brand that I'm using is Curl Smith. I was part of a small focus group when Curl Smith were developing this product. So it was me and some of my curly haired friends just talking about what we really loved about products, what we hated about products, how we wanted them to smell, how we wanted them to feel, what we wanted them to do. They really, really listened. They came out with this range of products. So I can literally do a full wash routine only using one brand. So my hair is only just really fully dry. I had to sleep with my hair wet overnight, which I really don't like doing. Luckily, I think my hair kind of turned out okay. So I have like lots of different textures all over my hair. My hair can go from kind of like a 3C to 3B to a 3A, like all over my hair. Some of my curls are basically tighter than others. And I don't think that's anything to do with any damage. That's just naturally how my hair is on my head. It's not all the same curl pattern, which is kind of annoying. The curls towards the top of my head on the crown are a lot looser than the rest of my hair. And this defining cream, like this is so unusual for me. Like this piece of hair comes from here. Like I would so expect expect this to be kind of wavy but it's not like it's got a little curl going please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe so without more further ado let's get on to the demo so in this range instead of having a separate shampoo and conditioner they just have a co-wash which I really love anything that I can do to kind of shorten the time the better it's also great for summer because I wash my hair way more often and I don't want to use a really harsh shampoo every single time this is actually vegan cruelty free DEA free silicone free paraben free, phthalate free, mineral oil free, it's got no bad stuff in it whatsoever so it doesn't actually sud up so I apply this all over my hair, I apply it to my scalp and I apply that right the way down to the lengths and the ends of my hair just to make sure that I get a thorough cleanse and I massage that in and it's really really cleansing, you can actually detangle with this as well because it just feels really really silky, it feels like a conditioner but it is cleansing your hair and you leave that on for three minutes then rinse it out so then I go straight in with the leave-in conditioner. I don't even worry about doing a rinse in, rinse out conditioner first. I just use this one. It's completely free of any of that bad stuff. It's vegan, it's cruelty free, which I love. It looks like this. It's kind of got this creamy texture to it. It's not gloopy, it's not sticky. So that's a plus, of course. And what I do with this is I section my hair off. So I split my hair into four sections. So straight down the middle and then I half that again and I just tip that over the other side of my head. And this just helps me to remember exactly how much product to use every single time to get a perfect result. So I take a dollop like this onto the mid lengths of my hair and then I take another dollop of the same size onto the ends of my hair and I do that for every single section and I comb it through and that just means that I don't over apply the product like this gives me a really good result. So again on the mid lengths and then I do the same on the ends and I do that all over my hair and I just make sure that that is all combed through just to make sure that the whole product is evenly applied and I'm not going to come out with any dry patches, any frizzy patches. It's all going to be good. I don't apply any conditioner to my scalp or the roots of my hair because that is going to make your hair come out really flat. So you just want to comb that through and then leave it in. Don't wash it out because this is actually a leave-in. And I know you wanna see some faces Just stop looking for love So then I am going in with the Curl Defining Souffle It's kind of like a gel in texture and it has got so many amazing ingredients none of that bad stuff so again I just work through the same sections so my hair is in four sections and I work it through so I take a dollop of the stuff and yeah the difference with this compared to the conditioner is that I don't actually comb this through my hair, I actually scrunch this through my hair and that's just really going to help with definition and volume and bounce and all of that good stuff. So yeah, I just keep on scrunching and I scrunch again when my hair is about 80% dry and then when it's about 60% dry and I ruffle my roots as well and that's really going to help me get some volume towards the tops of my hair. That's pretty much all I do, I seal it in with some oil and that is about it until my hair is dry and I only use a microfiber towel as well I don't use any other towel other than a microfiber towel or a t-shirt so after that I just let my hair air dry I did have a like microfiber towel wrapped around my head for quite a lot of the day I really like how it turned out I've got quite a lot of volume at the top and I think a lot of that is to do with the fact I didn't put any leave-in conditioner on the roots of my hair just because that can really flatten your hair a lot we were sitting there together at brunch and we were just like oh my 
my god, did you use the leave-in conditioner? Yes, it was so good. Look at that. I'm so happy about that. Curls going from pieces of hair that would otherwise have been wavy. Little ringlets going on. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. If you guys want to try out these products, you can click on the links that I have down in the description box. And yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!